in the casting process, we brought people back a lot of times. And I think probably Merritt had to come in more times than almost anyone because I kept thinking that he was too old, which he was. <laughs> um, and I think he was 22 at the time. And Kim Friedman, who was directing the pilot, kept saying, I need an actor in the role. I need an actor in the role. And ultimately, I think she and Eve Branstein kind of wore me down. <laughs> And I accepted the fact that, you know, he was definitely going to be older than I had originally seen the character as being. Um, but, you know, I think Merritt was Johnny Slash. And uh, he was really a wonderful embodiment of that character. And, you know, I can't imagine now that it could have been played by anyone else. I mean, Aidan Quinn was another person that was up for the role, also too old. Um, but... <laughs> But, um, you know, I always describe Johnny Slash as someone where, you know, there was, there was kind of a fire in his mental computer. And so, you know, some of the circuits were wired differently. And uh, things didn't necessarily jump from synapse to synapse in the way that they should have. Um, but, you know, to, to be able to be that quirky and lovable and to be able to lift John Famia <laughs> and carry him from room to room um, all in one character. I mean, I think, I think that was quite unique. And um, it's, it's really a very sad loss to the world of entertainment that, that Merritt didn't survive past 25. Merritt was wonderful in the role. And you run into people this is not a this is a business that encourages damaged souls um, we all get into it because we want attention and and some of us uh, are able to sort of uh, function and and deal with that better than others and Merritt was someone who and I've worked with people like this since um, there was a lot of, uh, I thought there was a, just a lot of discomfort and a lot of pain in, in Merritt. But there was a sweetness to him that um, made you kind of want to, you know, take a walk with him and find out what was going on. And, and uh, I always sort of regret not spending a little bit more time maybe talking to him uh, not that I, I might have been able to help him any, any more than anybody else, but um, there are people that you just feel are not destined to have a happy experience, and he was one of them. So at some point during shooting, he became, it became our responsibility to get him to the set in the morning. I just can't imagine what it was like for him to get in our Honda with my little sister and brother and me, and maybe eventually he started following us, but we had to wake him up. He was just, he was so sweet and clearly so talented. And I remember, um, I, I also really just r liked being in scenes with him. I was always amused by what he did. And, and uh, he was extremely pretty face, you know, and um, very, very sweet, like so right to play that part. And I remember one of his lines that I, that I always loved the way he said, which is that his, his family doesn't believe in presents. They just wrap each other's stuff up and give it back to each other or something. You know, so tender and so dear. And um, I remember all the, he always had babies, you know, in his braid. And uh, he was just, he was obviously the, the right and only person to play that part. We worked with a guy, Merritt Buttrick, who, was, who played Johnny Slash, who was just an awesome human being. And we were, we were very good friends. Actually, you and he, were confidants. Yeah. And I was kind of tailing along. You were too. 
Yeah, I was too. He and I did a promotional tour in uh, Austin, and Merritt and I went together, and he was a wonderful, brilliantly talented. He passed away from AIDS, unfortunately, really, really sadly. Yeah. He's one of those people that had so much life and energy, you just can't believe he's not here anymore. Just a crazy genius, yeah, talented. Yeah, really, really talented actor. and um, Beautiful heart. He did so much with that character, and I think that the success of, a lot of the success of the show at the time and people imitating and stuff had so much had to, do to do with him. him. It did. Yeah, there were, I mean, he would put his deodorant on in the car. He would brush his teeth in the car. <laughs> we were always having to take Merritt to work. And, and it was, you know, and what was so lovely about it, it kind of seemed natural after a while. Oh, yeah, well, he'll just be late and put his, you know, brush his teeth and spit out the window. And that was just kind of got normal for me in some sense, you know. Merritt was loving and kind and kooky and um, did a lot of things to excess in his life. I mean, he lived his life. I remember talking to him after Square Pegs was over where he was like just skydiving, just jumping out of airplanes sometimes or going on some kind of crazy helicopter ride. And um, I remember one time though, there were a few, th I remember him sleeping underneath his, his trailer and we finding like just legs sticking out from underneath the trailer and Merritt just, I guess he didn't want to be late that morning. So he just kind of didn't make it quite to the trailer, but slept underneath it. And, you know, he was so talented and had the character down and he was a handsome man and had a great body. You know, he was very sinewy and, 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 um, and it was the first time that I knew someone who died of AIDS was Merritt and, um, just broke my heart. Uh, you know, I, I was young when he passed and um, young, even younger when we worked together. And so it was just the first time that AIDS touched me through someone I knew and someone I enjoyed and someone who I thought I knew, but I guess I really didn't know. And um, so it was a very sad passing because he was a very talented man. Merritt was a particularly quiet person. Um, I know he didn't really talk much when we weren't filming but when the cameras were on, he was just off like a shot and definitely provided this great manic energy that made Johnny Slash the memorable character that he is. But you would not see any of these um, parts of his personality at all when we weren't filming. And I found that to be interesting. It, it gave me an idea of just how fantastic an actor he is. and. Um, Recently, I, I saw the movie Kingfish and was completely blown away by his performance in that movie and just how different he was and how involved he was in that role. And sadly, that was his last role. Um, Merritt was a very sweet and very loving, gentle soul and fun, great to work with, always helped me to relax. Before the set, we would we would, if we were, be, you know, getting ready to go to do a scene, he would hold our hands and he would just make us feel good and relaxed and comfortable. He was a sweet and loving person. He was different than his character. He was totally cool and I totally loved him. Totally. <laughs>